In this video, we want to find the three cube roots of one. So that's basically saying that x cubed is equal to one. So we're looking for three numbers whose cube will be one. So all we need to do is solve this equation, x cubed equals to one, for one that leave x. So I'm going to factor this out, bring this over to the other side, have x cubed minus one is equal to zero. So we can solve this one. We have a difference of cubes. We're going to factor this left side here. When you have x cubed minus another number cubed, the first factor is the difference of the cubes. So the cube root of x to the third is x. Cube root of 1 is 1. That gives me the first factor. And then the second factor for this is the square of the first term here. That's x squared. And then opposite sign of this, this is a minus, so it's a plus. The product of these two, x times 1 is x, plus this term squared here. 1 squared is 1, equal to 0. So we have the product of two factors equal to 0, means 1 or both are going to be 0. So x minus 1 can be 0, or x squared plus x plus 1 can be 0. So we solve this equation for x, adding 1 to both sides, we get x equal to 1. So the cube roots of, or 1 cube root of 1 is 1. Because obviously if you cube 1, 1 to the third is 1, so that's 1. And then for the, for the second equation, we have a quadratic equation. So we can solve this using the quadratic formula. The a value coefficient of x squared is 1. The b value coefficient of the x is 1. And the constant term, that's c, that's equal to, to 1. So x then is equal to, so we can use the quadratic formula here. So x is equal to, and it's going to be, the first term here will be minus b. And b is 1. So that will be minus 1. And then it's plus or minus the square root. And then in here we have b squared minus 4ac. The b is 1, so b squared, 1 squared, that would be 1. And then it's minus 4. And then it's ac. And a is 1, and c is 1. So that's 1 times 1 is still going to be 1. And that's over 2 times a. a is 1. So we get that. So then this is equal to minus 1, plus or minus, and then here we have 1 minus 4 times 1, so this would be 1 minus 4, that's negative 3. Square root of negative 3, bring the negative out, that'll be the square root of negative 1, that's going to be i, imaginary number, and then the square root of 3. That's over 2 times a, a is 1, so that'll be 2. So a second square root of 1 would be minus 1, plus i times square root of 3, and that's over 2. And then the third one could be a minus 1 minus i square root of 3, and that's over 2. So these are the three cube roots of 1. If I cube the 1, I'm going to get 1. If I cube the second one here, minus 1 plus i, square root of 3 over 2, I'm going to get 1. And if I cubed this one over here, minus 1, minus i, square root of 3 over 2, that's also going to give me 1. Now you can check these manually. Obviously the 1 is no problem. 1 to the third is 1. Now the others you can use a calculator or do it manually. So I have it set up on the calculator here. So here's the way I did it on the calculator just to confirm it. You have to be careful. Obviously here is just to the third power, but in the calculator you have, I have a parenthesis here, and then I have the minus one plus i square root of three. And then parenthesis here again over two, and then parenthesis again, take it to the third power, gives me one. So again, take this, put this on your calculator, take it to the third power, that'll give you one. And then take this one again, careful with the parentheses here. Take it to the third power, that also will give you one. 
So again, we have the three cube roots of one. One is a real number and the other two are imaginary or complex. You could do the same thing with, uh, if you wanted the, the four, fourth roots of one, just put a four here and solve that uh, fourth degree equation for x. And you would get two fourth roots. Two would be real and the other two would be imaginary. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.